is Fantasy Ask and welcome back to The Sims 4 Vampire Amazon with the Salazar Coven. Before we begin, I want to say a very special welcome to my channel members. Thank you so, so much for your support. I appreciate it immensely. You guys have no clue how excited I am for this episode because I haven't been playing these ladies since April. I know episodes have been coming out for you guys and that's because I did a whole bunch of pre-recording early on in the year so that we would always have content, right? But now my schedule's kind of changed and I'm having a bit more time and I'm able to come back on and play these ladies and I'm so flippin' happy, guys. Now, along with that good news, we're also gonna be having a ton more Vampire Amazon videos over this coming month. So in October, instead of having four episodes come out across the month, we're gonna have episodes every Wednesday and Thursday. So yes, double episode time. Keep your eyes peeled for that. I'm quite excited for all the shenanigans we shall get up to, especially because we had our final baby um, in the coven for this generation that's gonna be born. Which means I can start moving the kids in, we've got birthdays coming up, we're gonna have all of our lovely little ladies turning into teens with makeovers, and you guys know how excited I get about that. But okay guys, let's dive right into it, because when we left off, we were doing our readings for Galaxian Sephira, which we wrapped up quite nicely. I'm still waiting on comments from you guys, because even though I'm back to recording, um, I'm still recording slightly ahead of... The episodes you guys are getting so we'll have comments in on that by the time this episode comes out they will have been already so I should have updated my Simsfell tome of ingredients and prophecies and yes it is still called Simsfell from you know back in the olden days but okay let's dive right in because we are now doing the reading for Yuki Noxa I'm also so so stoked to check out how these girls look because again it's been months my eyeballs are like dry i need to see their faces ah this is so good okay yuki noxa the child of our lovely scholar lady oriana and lord art who had their wedding as well quite fun quite fun and she's already settled down in here in the priestess's tower and zelda has had her berries i think she's still got the effect going on from reading her own daughters um, Siri is too young to join the castle just yet. How old is she? Let me just quickly check. Siri is a baby. That's right. Siri is a baby. So whenever she ages up, she'll be able to join us. For now, though, let's not waste any time because I'm way too excited. And let's talk about dreams to see what sort of signs Yuki shall get. Okay, guys, here we go. Keeping my eyes on Zelda to see the first three signs that she gives us. So we've got... Come on, Zelda. Give us something good. Up, 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 up. Here they go. Here they go. I'm watching. Oh, she's gonna... Oh, that's so sweet. I swear everyone's related at this point. Oh, that's so adorable. Okay, signs. Oh my goodness, the walls. <laughs> the signs always have me, like, nerve-wracked. Oh? Okay, guys. We got ghost. Ghost is our number one sign for Yuki. What do we have next? Okay, so ghost is number one. Ah, I'm so nervous. What is she gonna get? Hmm. We're ignoring whatever sign Yuki has above her head. We're looking for Zelda's bubbles here. She's the priestess, remember? Come on, come on. It's kind of fitting for October. Oh, games? Okay, games. I've got ghost games. It doesn't have to be a console, it just has to be games. Okay. And clothes? Okay. So those are the three signs that Yuki got, guys. Yuki Noxa got the signs of ghost games and clothing. So, I don't know what that means, but you guys can start leaving your predictions in the comments to let me know what you think about, I don't know, where Yuki's good, like story is going to go in the next generation, which is what we use these signs for. A lot of you are already familiar, but in case someone's new and has, you know, just dived into a random episode, like 50 or in, <laughs> um, essentially we use these signs 
so that you guys can predict what the story is going to be for that particular child in next generation. And then when next generation comes and I'm creating my own stories, I use all of your comments to kind of inspire myself as to where I want to go. So okay, that was kind of interesting. And now I'm going to get Yuki to come on out. So let's get Yuki and Zelda. Zelda, don't yell at the little girl. Aren't you related? Everyone at this point, the like nieces, nephews, cousins, everyone's related. I think everyone in the next generation are cousins. So it's kind of interesting. But that's your niece. Oh, that's your brother. You, These guys, they're so mean. We also need to check the, the girls. Okay, stop, stop harassing her. Stop harassing her. Uh, we need to check all of the youngsters traits yeah their traits because it's been a long time and I simply do not remember so you keep you're gonna leave don't worry about the priestess she's yelling at you ignore her she has done be respectful but ignore her you've kind of completed whatever it was you needed to do so you can come on out here look now she's stressed and she wants to have some fun ah and finally we have the reading of our lovely princess and precious heir of the Salazar throne, Aphrodite Salazar. Ah, I love her. Look at her. Doesn't she look... Okay, hold on, guys. Hold on. Doesn't she look so much like Athena? I don't know if it's the complexion, if it's the eyes, or what it is. Maybe the hair. Athena had white hair. She's got blonde hair. She looks so much like Queen Athena, like, I don't even know what to say, guys. When she was a toddler, she had Athena's kind of, like, side-swept hair, but now she has this braid, which I think looks really pretty on her, and I'm super happy with it, but... Okay, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay. I'm gonna send Aphrodite, who's feeling very inspired. She's very tired as well, but... Come on, princess. Let's get going. These are all your cousins. All your cousins. So unfortunately, I don't think we shall be having any romance between the ladies in the next generation. If anything, we need to get it this generation. Because everyone's related. Everyone's related in the next generation. Okay, Zelda, please be respectful because this is the princess and you cannot be going around yelling at her like you were yelling at Yuki. Like, that's a no-go. That is a complete no-go. So okay guys, let's... Oh no, uh, she needs berries. She needs the berries. Okay, hold on. Let me get... We have berries. We have berries here. So I'll just pop this into inventory so she can eat that. And then she should have enough inspiration to connect with the goddess and talk about dreams, prophecies, signs. Okay, nice. She's in the zone. And look at that princess. She's like so relaxed, so chill, prepared for this. Okay. Here we go, guys. Um, where's my dreams? Where is my dreams? What? Oh no, don't tell me. Don't tell me that she talked about dreams, so she has to kind of wait a while. That's not fun. I specifically need the interaction to talk about dreams. Ah. Okay. This is slightly problematic, guys. Because I... What is that? Oh no. We're gonna replace that. We're gonna replace our little music box that was broken. But that is slightly problematic for me. Because we need... I've never had a prophecy reading where we did all the children like in one go. I've never had that. But I need her to be able to talk dreams with Aphrodite. I need that specific interaction to help me. Um, because I feel like it has the widest kind of array. Hmm. What are we gonna do? These youngsters are hungry. They're waiting down here. What are we gonna do? And I don't know how long I have to wait before that, that dream interaction comes back. Oh, there we go. It's back. We only have to wait a little bit. Okay, guys. Finally, let's go check. Okay, get that silly magician thought out of your head. Thank you. Because this, this is important. This counts. Here we go. We're gonna read Princess Aphrodite's side, and this is big because she's the next queen. She has no siblings to compete with her. She's got no sisters to compete with her, so... Essentially, she's gonna be trying to defeat Queen Wisteria in combat, or like challenge the queen as many times as she wants or needs until she wins, because 
there's no one like to rush her at all. Okay, here we go. Okay, she's gonna she's gonna is she gonna hug her knees? Well she starts off being nice to them and then she just starts yelling at them after she's done with their signs. Okay, she's gonna what are you gonna do? You're gonna chat there? Okay, llama. We have llama guys. So Aphrodite's first sign is llama. And I know quite a few of you like quite a few of you I am so tongue tied today, I don't know why. I am so tongue tied. But a few of you uh tend to tie that to tradition, which is kind of interesting, but I like that. I'm gonna go with llama. And then her next sign. Let's see. Okay, they're gonna sit down here. I'm gonna keep an eye on Zelda. See what she gives us. Come on. Llama was number one, the first sign. I'm trying not to get distracted by everything else on the screen. Okay, Zelda. What do we have next? What does the princess... Oh, Aphrodite. Okay, the princess's second sign is herself. That's intriguing. So we've got Llama herself, and what is that? Hold on a second, guys. What is that? I have never seen that sign before. I have never seen that before. We've had sun, and I know sun typically we say is to do with death. Because, you know, vampires tend to die from sun. But I don't know what that is. It almost looks like a vampire is being scorched. Like, out in the sun? We're gonna go with scorched then. Okay, or well, like, yeah, scorched. Well, those are interesting, and I'm a tad bit terrified because I haven't had a sign be this specific before. So it seems as though um, we've got for our princess and heiress the signs of Llama, Aphrodite, and Scorched. Hmm. Huh. Well, let me know what predictions you guys have for her future in the next generation. I'm a tad bit terrified, but this is also kind of exciting to get out of the way. But I think we are all up to date on the signs of our ladies. And now I'm... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. I think Safira peed herself. Oh, this poor child. Everyone's been made to, like, stand here while we do their readings. I'm so sorry, kiddos. And she peed herself. That must be so embarrassing. Okay. I am going to let the children go. And then we will catch up with everyone a little bit later, guys. But my goodness, my goodness. And then we'll kind of have a look at some of the events coming up, um, a closer look at the kids, get them settled into their rooms, all of those good things. We'll get it done in a bit. Ah. Okay, I wanted to take a look at some of the kids, and guess what I have discovered? Apparently, these youngins can actually sleep in the coffin, which I have never gotten any of my kids to do because I thought they couldn't. Is that an update? Has something changed since the last time I was here in April? I don't know, but Aphrodite is go- oh. Oh. Wow. That is a little bit weird. <laughs> Did you guys see that? I mean, I'm glad she can sleep, but that's great, but... The limbs just stretched themselves to um, unimaginable lengths. So that was a bit creepy. <laughs> Do I care? No, not really. I think that's fine. But the children's quarters is quite small. We only have room for two because I did not expect to have, like, all four kids in the castle at one time. Although, because of the length, like, between the days between their aging, we would have had this issue sooner or later anyways. But since our children can sleep in the coffins, what I've done is give, like, this chamber to um, the dragon sisters. So Galaxia and Sephira, the twins, have this. I feel like it'd be a bit much for Zelda to keep them in her chambers, but I have given Yuki access to her mother's chambers over here so she can actually come and sleep in this coffin, which she needs to do, so I'm gonna get her to do that. And then Princess Aphrodite has access to the Queen's quarters and she's gonna sleep there. I also feel like maybe I should give access to the kids. I don't know. I mean, no, I don't think I will because Zelda doesn't really have anything in here that her kids can do with her. Um, at least with Yuki, she can get her writing skill up and play chess with her mother if she wants, in the privacy of their room. And 
the princess can play chess with her mother as well. And oh my goodness, why do I have those hideous chairs? Okay, obviously some things have been changed. Some things have been changed, uh, which were not changed beforehand. And now I have these hideous chairs, which <clears throat> should not be here. I'll probably spot some things. I did take some CC out, so I'll probably spot some like weird things in my game from time to time. Or I might not guess at all. We have a ton of strawberries just hiding there. Okay, um, I need to get some new chairs. So let's go ahead and find something um, that I can pop here that look nice and fitting. You know, I just don't feel like whatever we had going on before was working that well. Uh, that doesn't seem as though it has that air of grandness that I'm looking for. What about one of these chairs? I mean, the white kind of looks decent. The white looks nice, not gonna lie. The white does look quite good. Do we want black? Black would also do quite well. Mm, this one, perhaps. I am so confused. Maybe we'll do the white. The white actually looks quite nice there. Okay, we'll do white. That is fine with me. That looks quite nice and comfy and a bit more luxurious as well. But the kitties are going to sleep. Let's see, Yuki, she's resting. Galaxia needs to be sent to bed as well. Okay, we'll get her to sleep. And what is this? Read on the covers. These are new things that I have not seen before. Hello! A bunch, everyone's gonna like start getting all their likes and dislikes. Some of them outside of this household, which really, I don't know what you're worrying about. It's a little bit random, but oh well. Galaxia, you poor child, she peed herself, but she's gonna go and have like a proper sleep. It is quite early. I know, you stink, it's terrible, but just go to sleep, Safira. Now, these girls, uh, let's quickly actually have a look at their traits, guys, because we haven't done that. So Galaxia, I mean, we might have, I don't remember. Um, Galaxia is adventurous, so she loves seeking out new and unique experiences. I'm excited to see how the personalities are going to develop as well because they've spent so much of the childhood away from us, which is usually the time we spend developing the personalities in the early age. And before long, they're going to get their second traits when they turn into teens, so, you know, we didn't have much time with them. But she's the adventurous one out of the two. Now, the interesting thing is, Safira is a goofball, and so is Princess Aphrodite. So I like the idea that they would be close to each other or just get along more because, you know, they've got really similar personalities. They click really well. And then Yuki is a music lover, which is kind of fitting because the scholars typically have been the ones to take part in, you know, anything to, to do with music. So I kind of like that. But apart from this, I guess we'll have to see how their relationships with each other are, if they're close to anyone, if they're not. Now, I want to know how the kids feel about each other, actually. Now, they're all cousins. <laughs> they're all cousins. But Galaxia uh, is closest to a twin, obviously. And then I can't tell who she's close to between Yuki and Aphrodite. Maybe Aphrodite a little bit, and then Yuki. Sephira, meanwhile, I mean, they're all relatively close right now, I think. They haven't spent enough time together to have disagreements or anything like that. And it's kind of interesting as well for us to think about because, as like, from what I can remember at least, when Zelda and Wisteria were young, I think as toddlers they were very close, but then as kids they started arguing with each other quite a bit. And that was probably because Zelda here is mean-spirited. But okay, how are these guys going? Oh, hold on a second. Okay, these two, Sakura and um, Saf Sapphire here, have they had their baby? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember if they had their baby. One of them was pregnant. Who was it? Was it Sakura? Was it Sapphire? Ugh, I don't even remember. But ha have they had their baby? Um, who is this? No, that's um, Ceres' twin. I'm so confused. Now, how would we be able to tell? That, I don't know. 
um, because we don't have anyone related to them in the castle, so it's not like we can check somehow. Huh. Huh, huh, huh. Is there no way I can check? Let me try and go through the family tree. I love it when everyone connects because I... It's so much easier to just climb through the genealogy, but I don't think we'll get lucky here. Dwight? Actually, no, we will, because Dwight is their father, right? Oh! Sapphire has not had a baby, it seems. And neither has Sakura. Guys. Weren't one of them pregnant? I'm confused. I thought I got one of these girls pregnant. Huh. That is very strange indeed. Why don't we do some investigation and find out what the heck is happening? Um, we might not actually travel anywhere, but I just want to know what's going on with those girls. Because remember we tried to get... It's been months, guys, so I apologize if I'm missing something here. But last I remember, we tried to get Zora pregnant, which she was failing at for some reason. So then the person that she was paired up with, we actually got one of the other Coven Rose sisters to try, and she did get pregnant. And then I left the household because they're not having the baby in the main castle. So I'm a little bit confused at what's going on here. Come on. My game's taking a fair bit to load, but don't mind that. Now, I think I want to hop to... Where is it? Glimmerbrook. And what's going on here? It does not look as though any of them are pregnant. And it does... I mean, Mage is there. Unless they are pregnant. Unless one of them is like in an early trimester or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll wait it out and we'll see how things go. One of them must be pregnant. Maybe we just aren't seeing it. Maybe it's just really early in the trimester or something like that. Yeah, I'm just going to assume that's the case. Because they should have a baby soon. Um, and I guess we can trace them from Zora's like family tree because they're related somehow. Let's see. Oh, they're cousins. Huh, well there we go. Yeah, they are cousins, so that makes sense. Okay, Zora, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can... But, but you're gonna... What are you doing? What are you doing? She's gonna repair something. You you can repair a potion bottle? Hmm. Well, use your magic in whatever way you will. Now what I wanted to have a look at, guys, was the calendar. So we can just quickly see some of the events that are coming up. Now, in the next episode or two, we should be having uh, the birthdays of Galaxia and Sephira. So they're gonna be aging up into teens, which I'm so excited about, and I'm thankful that we got them back into the castle in time. Um, and then we have the mentorship coming up, the winter escape, and then after all of that, Zora is aging up into an elder. I'm fairly sure. Holy cow! She's going to be aging up into an elder. So that's kind of interesting. And we're going to have to see whether or not she has her baby. She might not. One of the Coven Rose sisters might continue. I mean, we already tried, and she was, you know, very adamant not to get pregnant, for whatever reason. Which, I mean, I did try, just, well, it didn't work out. They didn't want to work it out. So that's kind of unfortunate, but we'll see. We'll see how she goes. I, I don't think she'll pass on her bloodline. I think it's going to be one of the other sisters, but oh well. Oh well. As long as we have our alchemists, right? At this point we have two lines going, so I don't think it really matters which one continues, just as long as one of them does. But, okay. I also feel like it's fair for the other two to get a chance as well. So, yeah. I think... 
I think, is it Sapphire or Sakura? I think Sapphire is the one that's pregnant right now, and maybe when, if she has like a boy, we'll get Sakura to try. I am undecided at this point in time. Very undecided. Which I'm sure you guys know. But, what are you doing? What is she repairing? She's like repairing all these potions, which I, I don't see what problem we have with them. Okay, why don't you come and eat something, actually? Um, is that why I'm keeping the ladies here? That must be why. <laughs> to find out if they're pregnant or not. I mean, that could be a reason why I'm keeping them with me. Um, experiment, brew potion. Let's brew some more. Um, do we need plentiful needs? Let's do some nimble mind. That helps with skill gain. That might be something we give to like the princesses during when's the royal the royal studies we'll probably give that to the kids during the royal studies yeah so they can improve their skills um in whatever the queen chooses for them to do or the scholar chooses for them whoever's in charge of their education essentially but okay guys with that said and done i'm gonna leave off here i know this was a bit of a catch-up episode at least for me but hopefully i should get into the swing of things and have some exciting, exciting things coming up. But okay, with that said and done, I'm gonna leave off. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.